go on a scuba dive tomorrow, Jim? Actually, I'm going diving tonight. Is it in the ocean where it's dark? Yep. Are there sharks down there? Oh, there are, but I probably won't see any. How cold is it down there? It's cold. How I have to wear this big heavy suit and dry gloves. When you carry oxygen, about how many pounds is it? It's not oxygen. Nitrogen. That's actually air. How low do you usually go? Oh, we're not going very deep. We're only going about 30 feet. I'm going to take some video tonight. Have you ever seen any scary fish down there? Oh, I hope not. Do you just wear the suit or do you have warmer clothes on to keep warmer down there? Well, the suit keeps me dry, but it doesn't keep me that warm. So I have to wear really heavy fleece underneath it and stay warm. But it's just like if you went up in the mountains and went in the snow, you would wear warm clothes, right? Yeah. Same thing when I go in the water. About how many pounds do you think you'd carry on your back down to the water? About 120 pounds. Wow. So, I'm going to be back and you guys are going to be in bed tonight. Yep. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. And your gear, Jim? Yep. How did it go last night? Actually, it was great. You want to see the video? Sure. Okay. It really was that night. Yep, it sure was. and there's a park there for scuba divers underwater and it's marked by ropes going all over and this particular rope is like an underwater highway and it's called Jetty Way. Whoa look at that that's a huge crab. Isn't that's a dungeness crab. There's good eating except the park is a reserve so you can't take anything at all out of the park. There's a metridium. Those are tube worms, and they usually have big things sticking out of the tubes like flowers. That is a shrimp, I believe. That's a shrimp. There are a lot of shrimp underwater. These are really, really tiny shrimp. That's a nudibranch. And it can walk sideways. Well, they're not supposed to walk sideways, but that shrimp didn't read the same book. Uh.
Look at those cool red eyes. What's that? No, that long thing right there. That's just a big concrete long thing. With the chain stuff to it. They put at this underwater park, they have put a lot of concrete things, a lot of steel things, they put boats under Did there. they do it on purpose? Everything just so that divers have stuff to see. See the ropes? Mm -hmm. That's Jetty Way right there. That makes up the underwater highway. Yeah. So we don't get lost. We can go in and out and sideways up and down the park on those lines. Oh, look at that starfish. That's huge. Can starfishers be other colors? Lots of colors. Even purple? Even purple. And they can have more than five legs. And they can be huge, like that one. Ooh. He's sitting on it. That is a cabbage on it. And it just attacked Jim's camera. It probably didn't want yeah. him close to it. The Couture. attack of the fish. It probably didn't want, want him close to her eggs. Those purple things underneath it are the eggs. Here's a boat underwater. Was that a boat that sank? Well, they deliberately sink them to make things for divers to look at and to form habitat because all the structure underneath there forms places for fish to hide so that then they'll come and make it their home. So do they like make it in a line to show you like it like, looks like a real highway? Well, they'll have some stuff in one area and then another area will have stuff. They've got all kinds of things. They had to put big blocks underneath the bottom of the boat in order to get it to sink and stay down. When you went diving before in like boats and stuff, was it spooky? In boats? Yeah, like sink, sink sunken boats. Well, like fish coming inside, out of nowhere. Going inside of a big ship can be very dangerous. Because if anything happens to me here, I can just go straight up and get to the surface real easy. I'm inside of a big ship, I can't go straight. That's one of the most dangerous things that I can do. Look at that fish, it has blue eyes. There's another invertebrate. Nudibrate. Nudibrate. Also an invertebrate. What does invertebrate mean? Flexible. No legs. No spine. Mm. And they're born with eyes on both sides. And then they lay down on the bottom all the time, and one eye moves over so both of their eyes are on the side, because that's how they stay on the ground. Look at a hermit crab. That's a hermit crab, yep. It's moving fast on the little thing right there. That that's white. how it senses chemistry in the water. So that's how it smells and tastes. Side fish. 
Flatfish. Flatfish. Really was at night. Yes. <laughs>